Welcome to episode number 18 of the Worship Online podcast. My name is Breton. I'm a worship leader and co-host here on the podcast with the CEO, founder, and director of Worship Online, Mr. Shalen Palmer. How you doing, bro? Hey, everybody. I'm doing awesome. You it, were gone for a while. I know. You're it back. feels awesome to be back, honestly. Back in Nashville. I've been traveling a lot, but... I'm happy to be here. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. Dude, we're actually. pumped to have you back because it was man. kind of uh, a little bit there where we we're like, is he is he alive? Where'd he yeah. go? And I'm glad you're here, <laughs> right. man. I'm glad right. you're here. We've had a great time. Libby yep. crushed it. I know. She's going to be Can back. Can we take on a, a second couple. just to like honor Libby? I know she's back there in the studio. I don't know if she's listening, but dude, she stepped in last minute to be on the pod- podcast and killed it. She's like, I've never done this before. Yeah, she's Whatever. just been killing it. And she just releases a uh, super. <laughs> crazy blog post about should worship leaders drink or not go check it out by no the way, way. It's and on like there. that was her first one of her first like podcast i mean podcast first maybe second blog post just like wow. just like super picking a fight with everyone she's in the coming worship in community strong. <laughs> yeah Dude, that's uh, crazy. She, and like so yeah. yeah she stepped up and she came in strong it. yeah like i mean we're sitting here and it's like she's done mm-hmm. radio for years i know so it was so good we're excited to have her back she's gonna so be back good. on a few episodes down the road so i know and she excited. basically did way better than me so <laughs> we'll uh we'll hope hopefully <laughs> you guys accept me back maybe yeah. i won't ever come back maybe you guys can just do it with libby from now on whatever man well i'm pumped to have you back here and uh, it's it's always fun just talking about yeah. the heart behind worship um, what God's doing in the local church and how we're equipping people and and we really just believe in the gift I know that's why you started this whole thing yeah. man is because you believe in people and want to help equip them to be the best that they can be and um, so we're actually going to kind of do that here over yeah. the next few weeks in April uh, by investing back into uh, some of our musicians so this yeah. is like kind of exclusive you're hearing it here first mm-hmm. on the podcast um, but kind of what, what are we up to what are yeah. we going to do so I was looking at our iTunes reviews and we are on the verge of a hundred reviews which is huge yeah. like that's crazy and that's like that was a huge goal that I set out to have from day one. It's like I want to get a hundred iTunes reviews. So we're on the verge in, in just a couple months. Yeah, and we just, just started this months. in January. I know it's, it's crazy, crazy. Like it's it's awesome. it's, yeah. it's actually super awesome. And like the reviews are great. They're all so positive, like super encouraging. So leave your reviews. Um, I'm loving it. I love reading yeah. these. Like we always read them it's before uh, we record. But I want to read one, uh, and then I'm going to tell you about something awesome that we're going to be doing for people who leave iTunes reviews. So let me read this one. I loved it. So not only are we going to be reading your reviews on here, uh, I got something else for you. So I've only been playing approximately four years. I've been privileged to serve with our worship team for much of that time. Could not do it without the investment of others such as yourself. Enjoy hearing your hearts and your perspective through the podcast. Keep up the great work. Uh, That was from Brad Wright. Thanks for giving back to the worship community was this title. Mm. Thanks so much, Brad. That means a lot. Seriously. That's, that's awesome. I mean, and we have, there's so many more just like that. Mm. So it's awesome. So, what we're going to be doing is I really want to get to 100. So, what we want is for you to go leave an iTunes review because you're listening. We really want to give back to you guys. Invest in your musicianship. Invest in what you're doing for the kingdom. So, we're going to be giving away $100 Guitar Center gift cards. And we're going to give away one a week. Maybe more, honestly. Dude, that's I might amazing. give away more. Who knows? Um, yeah, so leave a review on iTunes, five stars preferably. Uh, <laughs> uh, I just had to throw that Anything out there because there not are winning. other options. <laughs> you got to throw it out there. Um, but oh leave word. a five star review. Um, and then just send us an email, podcast at worshiponline.com to let us know that you left a review. Include your your, your username there like so we know yeah. and we can connect that with an actual review so we can see that you left a review. And just let us know you left a review. We'll check it out. And then yep. you're on your way to winning a $100 Guitar Center gift card. So It's awesome. I, I love that because I think about like the drummers out there because we talked about this for a, a, a hot second just about like do we get like certain gear to give away or yeah. whatever and it's like no actually we would love for you to be able to use you know the kind of sticks that you yeah. want or the symbols that you want or the strings that you want and so uh, just being able to kind of give back I guess a bit to what you guys are doing and, and invest back into the gift and into what you're pouring into every single week at church so um, again all it takes is leaving an iTunes review and then 
Include your information, you know, your basic information by sending that to us with mm -hmm. that username so that we yeah. can see who you are and then we know who to send the gift card to. Yeah. So, um, and we'll, we'll be sure to get in contact with you. So again, uh, just leave an iTunes review and then email podcast at worshiponline.com. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm excited about today's yeah. episode, man. We're going to dive right in. If we haven't, uh, roll the intro. All right, so we're back here. Yes, and, um, episode we, we eighteen. We really didn't even go anywhere. We just sat <laughs> here while you rolled the intro. So. Yeah, we really so, didn't move, um, did we? Anyway, so today uh, we're really at this point we're focusing on emails that we get, podcasts yeah, at Worship yeah. Online. People send in their questions, um, and we get a lot of great questions, which is amazing. Yeah, because I mean, after just a couple months of doing this podcast, to be getting the kind of feedback we're getting, and yeah. and to hear some of the questions. They're not just easy questions. Yeah. I mean, these are coming from like a really sometimes difficult place. Mm -hmm. Like this is what I'm walking through with my team or my pastor. Yeah. Or like, could you speak into this issue? And um, not that we're like pro counselors mm -hmm. by any means. And nope. as we say a lot of times, well, like speak for yourself, we're, so. no, <laughs> we're no experts. I mean, like we're talking about worship. I mean, it's 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 totally just to, to kind of start a conversation. Mm -hmm. It's really just a dialogue so that you've got friends and community Community because mm -hmm. without community, we really can't do this thing. Exactly. I mean, it's, it's just a lot to hold, and um, we're all seeking God. We're all trying to do our best, and so it, it's so great to reach out and to ask questions because mm -hmm. if we can be a part of that conversation with you or even just give you a tiny little nugget in these yeah. 10, 15-minute episodes, it's really mm -hmm. it, it has changed a lot of things, and it's it's kind of revealing to us some things, too, oh, yeah. like what's going on in the church at large exactly. and what people are walking through. So yeah. keep those questions coming. Which is the whole point of the podcast. Like, yeah. we get questions like this through our customer support channel. It's like, we can't begin to answer some of these difficult questions. You know, oh, this man. is what we're walking with our, with our team and we need help with this. It's like, okay, I mean, I can sit mm -hmm. down and try to type out like a right. good response, but, right. but we're just not able to fully give it the attention that it needs, which is yeah. what this podcast is all about, yeah. to be able to talk about those issues and really, yes. you know, dive deeper and go deeper on those things. And you can't over text. Yeah. Some things you really just can't yeah. communicate a heart behind text yeah i learned that early on you know just by getting in trouble a lot yeah. sending heartfelt People emails or really the upset wrong emails things in text. <laughs> yeah. yes. never send sarcasm yeah. over text messages the you learn that around 18 19. emoji can yeah. just mean can can do everything <laughs> oh man it's so true yeah. so we you know obviously that's part of of why we're doing this podcast and even on youtube so that you can really kind of see and hear the heart behind uh, yeah. answering some of these questions and realizing you know that we we really aren't the experts we've just kind of walked this journey yeah. for a little while and um i think all of us i think a good thing to to constantly remind ourselves as worshipers worship leaders is that we're here to help other people yeah and if we can do that even sitting on this side of the microphone awesome if we can do that uh, not behind a microphone mm -hmm. even better which is what we're talking about mm -hmm. today leading yes. off the stage that's right yeah. leading so one of the questions we got is about along the lines of leading whenever you're not on stage how do you do that mm. like different scenarios and yeah. that's super important just not first realize that you are a leader on stage that's a huge part of being a worship leader being a musician whether you're leading worship or not you're a leader on stage people are looking at you young kids are looking at you uh, they want to be you you're a rock star you're whatever they you know and then just people are looking at you as a leader. They're in your community. They see you. You're on stage, whether you know it or not. You're a leader. Mm -hmm. But so more importantly, like your most important time as a leader, as a worship leader, is probably found when you're not on stage. Mm -hmm. Everybody can be cool when you're on stage. You know, you you don't do much. I mean, you're you're there. But what are you doing in your life? Like, what are you doing when you're not on stage? What about when you're in the congregation when you're not leading worship that Sunday? Mm -hmm. Different things like that are just as important if not more important than when you're actually on stage and that's that's huge yeah. just something to to continually grow in whether you realize it or not just to continually move forward in that direction become a better leader whenever you're not on stage it's so true and it, it, those are the easiest things to forget too mm -hmm. because yeah. obviously you're mentally prepared and you're musically prepared whenever you've got your 30 minutes to an yeah. hour your few hours on a sunday morning mm -hmm. or whatever it is when you walk into it you're you kind of mentally there mm -hmm. but what are you doing when it's 10 o'clock at night you forgot something at the grocery store and you got to just run there real quick the people that pass you by or that you know that the people that you're encountering 
encountering even mm -hmm. late at night when you're at the store how how does the how does that conversation go how, how are you um engaging how are yeah. you you know facilitating and obviously it's like you don't want to constantly have to live under pressure that's not what this is about mm -hmm. it's not an obligation it's just a mindset and a posture of the heart that that understands like what god's doing in you is is a consistent thing it's not just yeah. happening a few hours a week yeah you know living with that um you know that that shining on your face mm -hmm. and in your in your personality and your contacts with people um being a light to them yeah whatever that means it might just be smiling or just showing attention to the fact that they exist mm -hmm. on the earth yeah. it doesn't mean taking 30 minutes with every person you talk to yeah but um you know i think that that's a huge thing and and something that is so easily overpassed especially when we are in a society where um social media and isolation is rampant mm -hmm. in this in this culture um, and in our society. You know, it, it actually almost can be a little bit interrogating when you want to be involved in someone's life. You know, it's yeah. like, whoa, what, what do you want to know about yeah. me? And it's hard to get into real relationships with people mm -hmm. now because, you know, it's like you really have to dig in deep to get through like yeah. <laughs> this, yeah. this wall of mm -hmm. isolation. So I think having th just the ability to be kind yeah. uh, present in someone else's life that's the beginning that's the mm -hmm. first step into leading off the stage yeah it's not all about the music for you it's not all about the gift it's not all about you know the stage that's actually there's no barrier between the stage and the congregation mm -hmm. we're all in this together and yeah. i'm just helping facilitate this this culture this environment of what, what god's trying to do in the room so yeah with that in mind then off the stage should be no different mm -hmm. you know just, one, I love this question. One of the things that I, I think about, too, is when you read through the Gospels in the life of Jesus, how much of the, the Bible was actually him on, quote unquote, stage, they didn't have a mm. stage, but him actually preaching a message in front of people, mm. like very little. It was all about his actual life. Mm. That's what impacted and changed lives and did things and was mm. in the important and obviously what the Bible wanted to show us is that it's not about what he, those messages he's preached. Yeah, those were important, yeah. but it was about the life that he lived. It wasn't exactly all about mm. that stuff. So, I mean, if yeah. we're trying to be like Jesus and we want to follow that example, why did the Bible think that was so important just to yeah. show all the times when he wasn't on stage, what mm. the life he was living and the message that he portrayed through his life? And that's so, that's, that's just so, so, so important. And like, yeah. that speaks to me a lot because... I mean, what we're doing here is we're quote unquote on quote unquote on stage. But when me and you, like, we go home to our families and our mm. wives and our kids. I'm not married, but you are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we see our kids. Like, what is yeah. the life and the legacy that we're leaving yeah. to actual people, one on one with people? You know, sometimes mm. you meet those like those pastors or, or people, or like you meet your the famous person you want to meet, and they're just like a jerk off stage. Like they and it's it's kind of super disheartening, and like they're they're not really impacting the people in a way that they could possibly be impacting people by really having a heart for, you know, not just look who I am on stage, but like, this is who I actually am mm. in person. And that that's how it kind of relates to us as musicians off stage as yeah. well. Yeah. Like, uh, it's funny. This is just an idea that popped into my head. I haven't thought about this any no. more than right now. <laughs> yeah. So, if I'm theologically off base, please just don't reprimand me. But <laughs> we'll Jesus Jesus wasn't sent here in the modern day with electricity and lighting and PA systems. Mm -hmm. So, if that wasn't an option, when he was talking to a crowd, it looked a little bit different. Yeah. Um, and some of them, the biggest miracles were done when he was just walking through the street. Yeah. You know? And you think about that in modern context where we're all driving cars we don't have to walk through crowds of people really unless we go to a mall and you know yeah <laughs> then be on the lookout it's just like i think that's it's it's something to really take into perspective and go man he really did walk every day mm -hmm. in this authority that was given to him by the father yeah and his example was set to being with his father consistently yeah. when he went away to pray, when he's in the presence of his father. And if Jesus did that, how much more so for us? And, and if we're going to be an example, a lot of it starts with just getting in the secret place. Mm. Being in the presence of God can't just happen on a Sunday. You know, we, kind of the stereotype, the, the cliche is, you know, mm. you can't take people where you haven't been. But it's so true because how, how are you going to lead people? Um, if that's the only time you're in the presence of God yeah. as a worship leader. And so 
on or off, if you're walking with God, living with God, talking to God, yeah. then that's going to be just a part of your conversations. That's going to be a part of how you interact with people. And yeah. that's what, that's the difference maker. That's mm-hmm. when people are like, there is obviously something different about him because mm-hmm. he's kind and he's not on his phone all the time yeah. and he's actually engaging with me, you know? Yeah. And that's the stuff that I feel like today, it's actually a lot easier <laughs> Yeah, make it out to me because yep. it really kind of just takes putting your phone in your pocket yeah. and all of a sudden you're different. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Guy, you know, and I think that that's a it's a great place to start. And mm-hmm. and um, man, I I just love that that's even being asked here yeah. on the podcast, mm-hmm. or you know, when, with people emailing in, because um, it really just goes back to not what are the right things or or how do I lead off stage, you know, like mm-hmm. in your day to day your email processes. Mm-hmm. It's really an it's a posture of the heart. Like, do you just do you love people? Yeah. And if 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 you're not there. You, you, you gotta get there yeah. you know and and that starts just in prayer it yeah. starts in being in the word of god and uh it's foundational it's basic yeah. but it's so important so true you know? so true one of the specific scenarios that i wanted to touch on was um those times a lot of times we when we're not on stage that Sunday, we're sitting out in the congregation while someone is maybe filling in that sure. Sunday or someone else is leading, and you're out in the congregation, mm. how important that is to still be a leader and engage in worship. Yeah. I remember I remember one time I was at a worship night, and the pastor of this church, um, as everyone was worshiping, I noticed the pastor in the church, very center, very front, just kind of sat there with his legs crossed and just just watch. The only one in the church sitting down, actually, hmm. uh, as everyone else was not saying that like you're not worshiping if you're not throwing your hands up. That like obviously that I'm not saying that, but an outward expression is important. That's a whole nother sure. whole nother subject. But yeah. but just it to was see, obvious that they weren't apart. Or yeah, it, it, he wasn't gone. engaged, yeah. and and I noticed that, and I and I felt like, and, and when I really like look back, well, this was a special worship night, but. One of the things, and we, a lot of people from different churches, one of the things I notice about that church, though, is like they they weren't really worshiping either. Mm. And only the people that were worshiping were people that weren't from the church. Mm. And it, it really made me think about the leadership. Yeah. Like, what are you doing as a leader? Your congregation and people are going to follow you in that in that direction. Everyone else kind of looked bored and was like, mm. "What's going on?" You know, like the yeah. the band was great, but they were just kind of whatever. And so it, it really kind of deflated me to see the pastor just not really caring, like mm. not in it, not paying even paying attention really um, as a leader. And so it makes me think of us as as leaders when we're not on stage, mm. how important it us it is for us to to really engage in worship and to really participate and show that you're supporting you might not be playing guitar or drums that sunday but you're there supporting and you're there engaging in worship and whatever that is to you lifting your hands I, we're not even gonna go down that road whatever it is to you just singing or just simply um something like that just engaging showing that you're there and people are noticing you whether you realize it or not people know that you're a musician people know that you're a leader um going back to it off the stage as well and people are looking to you in a way to see what they should be doing and people are noticing you and if you're not engaged in the same way this this church was looking to their pastor for a cue on what to do the same way is people are looking for you as a cue to do and people are going to follow and Mm. uh yeah the, the better you can lead them in the direction, um, you know, even if you're not engaged, fake it. <laughs> Just fake it like you are because people are going to, if something's going on that Sunday, I mean, uh, maybe something is happening in your life where you're just like super down. Um, I mean, for one, that's even a, the more, more a better time to participate in worship and get engaged yeah. in worship. But if you're just not feeling it, like at least, you know, do something, realize that you are leading these people, uh, whether you realize it or not, mm. and they're looking for you for cues well and the whole point is encounter right yeah so i mean it's like if you're actually at a place where you're not getting anything out of it Mm -hmm. it's all the more reason to press in yeah because it's about the presence of god it's not about Mm. what you receive yeah it's about obedience Uh, dude one of my good good friends just kind of came up on stage a couple weeks ago and he's talking right before the the giving Mm -hmm. of the offering he said something that kind of rocked my foundation a little bit and in a good way Mm -hmm. it was just like it just added to like this belief but he said like when you give 
Um, he's talking about, you know, financial giving, mm-hmm. like obviously there's, there's laws that God created and put in place uh, to where, um, you know, there's provision and, and that, that kind of comes, you know, as a result of giving, it's, it's kind of a key to unlocking finances. And there's, there's all of that, that, that's kind of actually a, a byproduct of the initial heart behind it. Cause when you give, it's actually an act of obedience. It's actually an act of worship. And when we worship, it's obeying God. His response to that is actually his presence, which is so much better and so much bigger than mm. like finance or provision. Yeah. That's still a byproduct of it, but it's actually his presence. And we obey, it's his presence. So if you're in a place where you're not feeling it or you're not engaged or you're not, you know, it's you're kind of having a rough week yeah. or whatever, if you have the opportunity to not be leading on stage and you're in the crowd, yeah. press the in opportunity. And receive, I love that. Seriously, because it's like, if you can if you can operate in the gift God's given you for your own heart, that's that's where it should start before mm-hmm. it's ever really for anybody else. Yeah. You know, and I think that oftentimes people find out you're a musician and they're like, get on stage and help us. Yeah. But really the the place that your heart should consistently be is just being with is with Jesus and out of that obedience, out of that worship, his presence will come and it'll speak into your situation. It'll speak mm-hmm. into your team. It'll speak into your volunteers. It'll speak into your, your relationships with staff members or mm-hmm. even your personal relationships. Like it's so important to be in the presence of God together. Before we even started this today, I was thinking about the importance of being in the presence of God as a team. You know, we talked about yeah. this, like we talk about leaders and very individualized, like, you know, your job mm-hmm. and talking about this kind of thing, mm-hmm. but how important it is to be in the presence of God together. That's yeah. why I love worship nights because yeah. there's a lot of times where you might have a guest band in, or you might have, um, you know, certain, certain people on stage yeah. and you have the opportunity to sit back and just be in God's presence and actually has nothing to do with the stage. It has everything to do with the opportunity to just be with Jesus mm-hmm. for a while. And if we can get there, man, and that be more consistent, yeah. it would really start to change some things. And it honestly takes care of some of this petty stuff. Yeah, you know, which we get a lot of emails about. How do I deal with this conversation yeah. or like these kinds of things? And the petty things kind of come up, but when we're consistently in the presence of God, mm-hmm. even as a team together, a lot of that stuff just gets washed yeah. away. The Spirit of God takes care of it. And sorry, I went on a rant there, a little bit of a rabbit trail, but no, those were just some great. of the things that I think that um, they're basics to kind of keep at the forefront of, of oh, yeah. our approach. Yeah. You know? And I just want to reiterate like, something that we said at the beginning, which was that the time you're leading off stage is, I think, maybe even more important than the time that you're leading on stage. Because if you have no credibility off stage, you have no, you're not going to have credibility on stage. People mm. know that you're this off stage. It's going to be really tough to impact people from the actual stage. Mm. So where you are off stage, um, you know, it's kind of like how they define character. Character is what you do mm. whenever no, no one else watching. is around or yeah. no one's watching. So yeah. it, that defines your character and who you are. So I think the thing that we should drive home and and wrap up with is just reminding people that how important leading when you're not on stage, how and actually just first of all, realize that you're a leader, whether you're playing drums, whether you're playing bongos, it doesn't mm, matter. True. Like you're a leader in yeah. the church and you're a leader in the community. And the f- soon as you can realize that, uh, the sooner that you guys can unite as mm. stage leaders and grow your community. If you just, cause what good is one leader? If, if, yeah. if you're not a leader, what good is the one worship leader who's, yeah. he's the only leader. He can only do so much. The only thing I add to that too is leadership actually isn't connected to your position. Oh, you know, and so like whether you're a drummer or a bongo player, leadership is, it's actually, um, it comes after a heart of serving and and just loving people. Yeah. You know, you know, we use that word byproduct a lot, but it really is. It comes after you've placed yourself under this authority of the Holy Spirit and, uh, and holding that authority and and, and owning that authority and saying, I'm a child of God and I'm going to love people the way Jesus does. Yeah. That carries influence mm. and leadership and it's not about a position yeah it's actually not about the stage even if you're listening to this and you haven't even stepped foot on stage yet great yeah let's get this started yeah. now because that confidence and understanding that authority and that being comfortable in your own skin before you're ever on stage mm. is going to only go further and impact more people oh, yeah. um I, i've some of my greatest friends are people that um aren't on stage platform ministry right now and it's it's rocking me because it's 
like, yeah. I see how they love people. I just want to be more like that, yep. you know? And mm. so we're all leaders in that regard. Yeah. If I love a few serving. weeks ago, Libby talked about her, her drummer who was the worship leader. Yeah. And you didn't sing, but just led... Yep. led it didn't exactly. matter his position he was yep. the leader and like everyone looked to him as the leader i love mm, that so actually good. yeah it's so, so good. great it's awesome well <laughs> if you want to win a guitar center gift card Woo! go leave a review and email us at podcast at yep. worship online to tell us you left your review we are pushing yeah. to 100 iTunes reviews 100 yeah. hashtag iTunes 100 we have we don't have a hashtag <laughs> we don't have a hashtag wish they did 100 wish iTunes review go yes. push Dude. we're gonna build like a right, draw like a big thermometer in the studio <laughs> and uh, like mark it off when we get closer and we'll closer push flippy on yeah. upwards <laughs> upwards toward the goal yeah um, yeah and we would love for you to do that and we'd also love for you to share your uh, favorite part about the podcast like if you're leaving the mm. review like to say yes. what your favorite part is or what your favorite episode was and um, that that really helps us too yeah. so we can kind of see and go, kind yeah. of feel and it, do feel more it of that yes yes <laughs> so do that and then email us so That's leave right. the review and then shoot us an email with your username so we know who in the world you are so when yeah. we're reading it we know uh, who to send the gift card to yep. once we pick winners so yeah thanks again we'll see you next time. Thank you so much.